welcome back to a vlog what's today today is um february the um uh, what is it february 24th and i did just do my second unboxing i have a sneak peek not sure which one i'm gonna keep you all because um the month of march of course is my birthday month so i decided to treat myself to a bag for my birthday and then i also got myself a big old big old big old birthday gift it's a birthday gift mother's day gift christmas gift easter gift whatever kind of gift it is for the rest of this year that's the gift that i purchased myself like yes and i cannot wait to share when this vlog is going to go up it's probably going to go up late but if y'all didn't know I'm going to share because this one is going to go up after my original video. But your girl bought herself a BMW truck. Yes, I got myself a BMW truck, you all. When I tell you God is so good, God is good, honey, all the time here. And God has blessed me already. And it's so crazy, you all. When I tell you vision boards work, work. I'm going to insert a picture. I did a vision board back in 2019 when I was in Covington. I did have a luxury car, which was the Mercedes. Like I wanted a Mercedes, but I ended up with a BMW. But I say that to say I had a luxury car on my vision board and I'm gonna insert it here. And if you look down, it's a Mercedes, a white one. I say that to say that board was done in 2019 and it's now 2023. Even though I didn't get it that following year, but look, what's that? 2019, 19, 22, 22, 22. I guess like four years ago. Damn, it's almost four years ago since I left Covington. Yes, yeah, so like I can't believe how time is flying. So it took about four years, but still I put it on my vision board. Regardless if it happened like yesterday or a couple years, it still happened. So vision boards do work. And then you also have to manifest. Pray, and I'm telling you, if it's meant for you, god will make it happen when i tell you this car was meant for me because prior to me purchasing my car i wasn't looking to purchase a car as of yet I talked about it because if y'all know if y'all follow me y'all always heard me say when i get a key file when i get a key file because i was driving a ford um focus and i didn't have a key file so i always said in my videos I, one day i'm gonna get a key file one day like i don't remember which videos but if y'all been watching all my unboxings y'all know y'all heard me say that one day i will be getting a key fob and guess what where's my key fob I got myself a key fob you all and let me tell you i had fun on amazon when i tell you i was buying i have been buying so many different things for my new car um i did get two key fobs but my other key fob is in my drawer i only needed the one so i did get the blinged out of course bmw key cover and I did bling out the inside of my car. I will do a car tour if y'all interested. I'm sharing this because if y'all looking to do anything far as switching jobs, careers, purchasing a home car or whatever, and sometimes you feel like, is it gonna ever happen? Shit, God will make a way. Like when I tell y'all I was very, very patient a person now I'm just going to be patient and wait. I say that to say because I'm going to tell you a quick story how this all started. Um, a brother purchased himself a brand new car. He has, a, I think he bought a Cherokee uh, Jeep. And so, Daquan, give me the guy's information just in case, you know, I want to look into calling him. Because when my brother told me how easy it was, I was like, okay, I have been working on my credit behind the scenes. I never had, like, poor credit, but I didn't have the best so for years, I have been working on my credit information. He got his car on that Monday, you all. And it's so crazy. God probably said, girl, it's your time. I'm going to push you to your car. Because it's crazy because I, my car, my um, Ford Focus, two years ago, I had to replace some holes that was connected to my antifreeze, whatever it is, because it was leaking a couple years ago, like two years ago, car to overheat so i did get that fixed and uh fast forward last week 
it started doing the same exact thing like it was leaking antifreeze and it was overheating it's like it's just so weird because i just replaced the hose on that car and it cost me like five six hundred dollars to do so so for them hope for those holes to go bad that quick or whatever happened because it's the same exact thing because the first time it happened my car overheated the antifreeze was leaking and i was told that you need to replace the hose back then it was around covid and i i wasn't able to purchase anything because i wasn't working so my daughter and i was out on monday out to chili's we went out to eat we went shopping we did whatever mind you my car was fine and i think that tuesday or wednesday um like it started with the heat not working and i never had that happen. i was able to drive it to work so um i got off i brought antifreeze i had antifreeze in my car because like i said it happened before so i put um the little bit of antifreeze i had in the car and then when i got off the next day i put more antifreeze in because of course you can't put antifreeze in your car until your car cooled down like overnight cool down and the antifreeze in it and i pulled off like all this antifreeze was like on the ground and i was like did i spill that because i used a funnel to pour the antifreeze in my car well maybe i kind of spilled it or whatever but like all this antifreeze was out and mind you my ass should have stayed home but no i go to work got to work um my car was fine like it was fine going to work but when it got time for me to get off I got off at, um, I had an on call to 6 and I asked like, hey, can I leave early? Because you know my car situation. 30. When I tell you, I didn't get home to 11.30 that night because of the fact that my car started overheating. And I was just like, oh my gosh. Like, I'm driving. I got not halfway home, but kind of closer. So I pulled over in the Publix parking lot to try to let the car cool down because it started making noise, like it make a beep sound saying pull over your car is uh, overheating. And then the thermometer went all the way to high. So I was like, oh my gosh. I was on the phone with my aunt. I was like, let me call the you parking back. lot for a little while for it to cool. And I know down maybe a little further down it was Target. So I was like, okay, let me just make it at least to Target because at least if I get to Target and I call trip away, I can hang in Target. So I pulled out of Publix. I made it. I didn't get a chance to make it straight to Target. I had to stop in the LA Fitness because, again, it overheated really quick. And I was just like, oh, my gosh, please, Lord, let me just make it to Target. And the LA Fitness parking lot. And I eventually made it to Target. So I called Triple A because I have Triple A. And, you know, I was there waiting for three hours for my car. But what I should have done, I wasn't even thinking until the last minute. I should have just left my car, took an Uber, and went home. But I'm just like, okay, I can wait. I was in Target walking around. I picked up my online order because I ordered uh, more uh, uh, plant dirt for my plants. Her law to her and the grandkids. So the, the three hours went fast or whatever, two, three hours. So by that time, it's dark. And I'm watching tow trucks come inside of Target like really like i'm thinking it was for me and then you could see on the app that it was one coming close and then i had one say we we'll be there shortly so i'm like okay good well honey i get another call, text saying um they canceled your route so at this time i think it was like five six or eight nine it was like nine something almost ten so i'm pissed seriously like i sat here all this time so I was just like, all right, I stay here for all this time. My car had to cool down. So I was like, all right, let me go and try to make it home at this point because it's getting late, you know. So I'm just like, okay. So I make it. I didn't make it home. I made it down a little further, a lot closer to Aldi's. And it at this time, it was like 10 something. And I was like, all right, I'll sit at Aldi's to wait because I think she said another hour or something. So I'm like, okay, I've been out here all this time. I might as well wait. Well, honey, when them lights went out in the Aldi's parking lot, like when I pulled in, it had lights. Lights were on. I don't know. When I sat there for about a good five, ten minutes, the lights went out. So I was like, oh, see, I can't sit in the dark. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to just have to. I called the lady. She was like, if you leave the car, the keys under the mat and whatever, the guy, the tow truck guy will bring your car, drop it off. So I had to leave my key, key card in the car because my key... My um, gate code is connected to my daughter's phone because of the fact that I have an out-of-state number. I left everything in the car for him, and I called for an Uber. The Uber came in less than five. At this time, I was just like, I can't go to work with my car like this, and I'm not paying for an Uber. 
So I stayed home and I was just like, you know what? Let me call this guy. I, and I had co-signers on standby. I had two because I was just like, just in case. So he was like, no, we're not going to do a co-signer. Let's just run your information by yourself and let's see. He called me back and was like, you approve. You don't need no co-signers. Um, you don't have, you don't need no money down. You don't have to trade your car. Mind you, I didn't have to put no money down. I didn't have to trade my car and I didn't have to do anything except for send my driver's license and my insurance card and show up. And I was like, that was nobody but God, you all. Like, I'm just saying that was nobody but God. And then when it got time for me to, I did all this on Thursday. I think he called me Friday because car, the car had to be shipped. Because I went online, I found the car that had to be shipped from another location. I got my car on Saturday, but I had to work. And I didn't want to rush myself because I did have to go all the way to um, in Atlanta somewhere. So I was just like, okay, I'll just go on Sunday. It was Super Bowl Sunday. <clears throat> so again, you know, I'm happy, but I'm a little nervous. Not nervous in a bad way, but just like, okay, what's up? Because last time I did the application online by myself, it told me I needed like $6,000 down for that particular car because I was looking at a Mercedes. And I'm like, I ain't got no $6,000 down, even with my trade-in. So I was just like, mm-mm. So I left it alone. That's why when one door closes, I don't get upset anymore. Because I did this two months ago. I was looking at a white Mercedes, like my son's. I think it was a CL GLA 250 or 300. So I'm just going to be completely honest. I, I just don't have that kind of money. And even with taxes, I didn't want to put up that type of money for no car. And I waited and look how God worked. And when it came down to the paperwork, um, my mom was just like, wow, you ain't had to go do this and that. And I was like, no, because she was there with my brother. So I had everybody come, like all my family was there. I took pictures and all my energy. If y'all know, I know y'all don't know me personally, but y'all know me through YouTube. Like I was like this at the dealership. Like when, when I signed that paper, cause I was still like, okay, is this real? Cause I'm like, I'm trying to like, is this real? Because I just can't believe I did this by myself and didn't need no help. Like I just can't believe it. And I signed that last paper and I was done and they handed me my keys. I turned on, started from the bottom, now we're here, and we was in there dancing, you know, everybody was looking at me, smiling like congratulations, and the lady who helped me, she was like, you was my first client of the day, I was just, what I needed this morning, because like she, I told her I was a YouTuber, she was like, um, you know, she like paused when it got time to sign in papers, because I wanted to document everything, because I wanted to document all of this, because this is a day then I'm going to always cherish for the rest of my life, you all. Because I never had nothing brand new. Like, I always had used cars. And for me to purchase my very first brand new car, and it's a luxury car, I'm like, God is so good. Like, when I tell you I have been very patient, like, very patient. I have been around people who had the best of the best, but I never worried about, see me, I'm that type of person, I don't worry about the next, because whatever's meant for me, nobody can't take that, and that's what people need to understand, stop being jealous and hateful out here, because nobody can't take what God has for you, I'm saying nobody, nobody couldn't take this car from me, that car was meant for me, like, you know, to say the sky is the limit, anything is possible, you all, like, I'm living proof, like, I work at Sephora, like, you know, nothing wrong with Sephora, but I was able to purchase a big girl car working at Sephora. So it's just like, I feel like I could do anything at this point. Now I just need my YouTube to grow <laughs> so I can make this my career. But with that being said, you, I know this was a long drawn out story, but I just wanted to document this so I can go back and look at it down the line and just see my accomplishments what I've been through to get to this point, you all, I'm 46 years old and this is my first big girl purchase. And I'm not ashamed to say, because back then, I'm gonna be honest, I couldn't afford nothing like this back then. I had responsibilities, I had my kids. Like now I feel like I'm able to maintain something like that because I don't have, I have three kids, but I'm only taking care of one because of course my other two are grown. They take care of themselves, they work. And I'm also thankful and grateful for that because you know having brown boys, you know how that is. And for my sons to take the route of working and doing the right thing, I'm very, very proud of them for that because if you know, you know, but I ain't gonna get into that, but I'm just here to just 
just share you all like I am just so happy and I'm just so happy you all I'm surprised I didn't cry but I did get kind of tear up a little bit when I was uh, going back watching my videos because like I still can't believe it so with that being said I didn't talk enough purchase um, some car mats because the car mats that they had just didn't work for my car because the way the pedals are made you can't put like a car mat underneath so i had to get some custom bmw car mats and let me just say that shit ain't cheap like i knew what i signed up for that's why i have the extended warranty and everything like that just to cover myself because i already know a luxury car is a lot more expensive I'm excited i can't wait for my first oil change at the dealership like mm. and then i also heard bmw do courtesy car washes so of course i'm going to take advantage of that my car match you all and i will be doing a car tour because i want y'all to see like um the little accessories i purchased for my car i did blink out the inside of my car i didn't do it i didn't go overboard it was just it's a little this and a little that sprinkled out throughout the car lights in the inside like oh my gosh it's just so beautiful you are every time i get in my car i just smile and i'm happy like god is so good like look how he just pushed me into that car because if not i wouldn't have even tried to get a car because i was fine driving my ford focus i ain't even gonna lie because i ain't had no car note it's like I know that was you guy. I heard you. I listened and I jumped <laughs> and I jumped and I'm thankful that I did. So let me show you my car mats. Okay. If I didn't mention, I have the BMW X2. Got the panoramic sunroof. Like I had to have certain things I had to have. Like I told him, I was like, hey, Ricky, I need to have a panoramic sunroof. I also had to have the light interior. Like, I don't know what it is, but that light interior with that sunroof just hits and it just, whoo, chap. So I got my BMW um, floor mats. Like I said, they say um, X2 right here. I'm that type of person. We'll be able to go home. So here are my floor mats. So I am so excited. I get to put these in my car. Do a quick car tour since I'm dressed. Um and show y'all the inside of my car because it is nice outside so i'm gonna see if my daughter want to film me if not i'll just have to do it at another time so yeah you i just wanted to share my journey this far i'm still like wow god is so good you all like god is so good like don't ever give up on yourself please don't because if you trust and believe everything will work out and that's what i tell myself all the time just like still like oh my gosh, i just can't i just can't believe it so with that being said um if my daughter wants to film me then i'll show you the inside of my car really quick so i'll let you know if not i will talk to y'all later bye